So today I'm going to ask ChatGPT to normalize my table because normalization is an important one to model our data for a better efficiency, better understanding, better store the data, everything. So I have this question that is I have a table with a column, staff number, dentist name, patient number, patient name, appointment date, appointment time, surgery number and the medicines prescribed, whether the table is normalized. So I'm asking this question to ChatGPT, let us see. Uh, without knowing the specific normalization rule being followed okay so um, it is telling me that uh, these are all the thing which is uh, which the pro normalization usually do okay normalize the table you could consider breaking it down okay so let me just put the question uh, to this I am just going to ask ask the uh, I'm going to uh, make a chat GPT to normalize it in the first normal form normalize the table to first one normal form first normal form let us see what it is showing to normalize the table to the first normal form we need to ensure that each column contains the atomic invisible values based on the original table Okay, so the table one should be staff, staff number and the dentist name. The table two should be the appointments, appointment number should be the primary key, patient number should be the next one, staff number should be the foreign key to the staff table, appointment date, appointment time, surgery number and medicine prescribed. Great. So, um, now I'm just going to ask the chat GPT to normalize the table, normalize the, normalize apply second normal form so let us ask apply to nf second normal form so it is going to apply the second normal form to the above table to apply the second normal form to the appointments table from the previous step because you know for the staff you cannot make it as a second normal form because it is already normalized okay staff number is with the primary key and this is the dentist name so if you wanted to uh, uh, normalize this to the second normal form it is further making it to another table like one is appointments appointment number patient number staff number appointment date appointment time and the surgery and medicine you have another table okay so it is just making it into the another table uh, that is now we have three tables okay this is how the normalization works so first you have staff table so you cannot further normalize the staff table so you can normalize the uh, appointment table why because we have another we have uh, 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 we have the transitive dependency over here so it has to be uh, it has to be normalized okay so we have uh, primary key already the primary key is set okay but we have the partial dependency here for the second normalization and if you want to make it as a third normal form it should be in the transitive dependency it there should not be any transitive dependency so it is further uh, fix, uh, it further uh, split the table into another table like uh, surgery and medicine so now by the end you have three tables one is a staff second one is appointments and third one is surgery okay so i'm going to tell chat gpt to apply 3NF. So 3NF is what the transitive dependency. Probably uh, always, you know, we uh, we require um, the table should be properly in three normal forms. That is, it should be normalized up to three, third normal form. Apart from that, if you wanted to know, if you wanted to normalize, even that is also fine. Uh, so yes here it is telling it is removing the transitive dependency. So for the surgery, you have prescriptions um you have surgery and you have prescriptions which is uh for the which is like i think it's a linker table appointment number and surgery is the foreign key and it is a medicine prescribed is what the linker table great so uh finally how many tables how many tables i have uh, uh after normalizing So I'm asking finally how many tables I have after normalizing the data. So after normalizing the original table to the third normal form, we have total of four tables. Yes, one is a staff, second one is a patient, third one is the appointments and fourth one is the prescription. Okay, so
so now you can see that um, chat gpt has normalized my table which is a single table into multiple table so i am going to ask the another question uh, to establish the relationship uh, a relationship between the tables so i'm asking the question to establish the relationship between the tables so let us see staff table appointments one staff member can have many appointments so one to many okay so from staff to appointment we have to go with one to many patients table and appointment table one patients can have many appointments but each appointment is assigned to only one patient therefore the relationship between the table pay and is one to many relationship relationship specifically the patient table is the one side and appointments table and prescription table one appointment can have multiple prescriptions many prescription but each prescription is associated with only one appointment okay surgery table one surgery can be prescribed for many patient and each appointment may have multiple surgeries so it is a many to many in order to accomplish many to many so it should be in a um, in a linked table linked uh, linked table we have to establish a linked table okay so uh, make it as a star schema so um we have a uh, concept called schema right so a schema is a database like uh, a schema is used to structure uh, in an optimized way to of data warehousing like this is used in data warehousing in order to make it a proper schema so here you can see to convert a normalized table into a star schema we need to identify the fact table and dimension tables in star schema okay so it is trying to find the fact and dimension table so here you can easily understand that how a normalized table is converted into a star that is a, a, a star schema okay so we have two type like basically we'll be using uh, uh, either star schema or a snowflake schema okay so it is telling us how we can convert this into a star schema so you can see here that the fact table is what the appointment because usually you know the we will have one fact table and multiple dimension tables so dimension table one will be the staff and dimension table two will be the patient three will be the prescription and four will be the surgery uh, uh, so convert make it into a snowflake schema okay So I'm asking it to make it into a snowflake schema. So to convert the star schema we created earlier into a snowflake schema, we can further normalize the table by splitting them into sub-dimensions table because in snowflake we need some sub-dimension tables as well. So it is showing how you can convert that into a star schema and snowflake schema. So great, this is what the very important step, step in a data modeling okay so uh, we have to convert everything we have to normalize the table in such way that it is easy to access it is easy to uh, it is easy to maintain and it it's good for performance okay and as well if you wanted to use the uh, if you want to use the data into the power bi it should be properly and it should be in a good schema like it should be in a star schema we'll be importing the data like a star schema the modeling as a star schema apart from that we can uh, in some cases we may need a snowflake schema so that is also possible with this this great so chat gpt is really helping us to model our data okay i'm going to ask one more question whether normalization is enough for data modeling okay so i have asked the question that whether normalization is enough okay so it is telling normalization is an important aspect of data modeling but it's not the only consideration so normalization ensures the data is organized efficiently and uh, sometimes you know you need the denormalized data as well okay partitioning involves dividing a large table or index into a smaller table more manageable pieces based on some criteria such as state range geography or customer indexing and data modeling for analytics okay uh, make the about table 
uh, which is perfect should be perfect data model model the data model apply data modeling for the above tables normalized tables so let us see what it is trying to give us Data modeling involves creating a conceptual, logical, and physical model of the data, which includes defining the tables, relationship between the tables, and then attributes of the each table. So, it's showing the conceptual model, okay, logical model, great, Okay, so it is further dividing because logical model, it has to divide the address table and uh, further more tables we need because for a perfect normalization and also for the better uh, thing. So here you can see that um, ChatGPT has modeled our uh, a table okay it's right from the beginning it it, uh, for, it did the first normal form second third and it also shows the schema whatever is possible and also now it is model like whatever the models which i have to do conceptual model logical model and physical model so complete thing it has given to us great so this is how we can use chat gpt to model our data so what do you want to do? What, what you want to ask with ChatGPT? Just leave your message in the comment. I'll be helping you. Take care. Bye-bye.